Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennium, and when last we left off, Alice, Chaz, and Han have made their way to Zima. After passing by Miles, which really isn't doing that well, to be fair, it's doing better than Zima, because everyone in Zima, apart from two children, have been turned to stone. Who did this? Who could possibly turn somebody to stone, apart from Zeo? It's most likely Zeo. It could be a monster, admittedly. A monster but Zeo likely unleashed upon the people here. You may notice that I'm blaming Zeo for a lot of things here. That's because it's pretty obvious that Zeo is up to no good, in some capacity. If it is the fact that Zeo actually turned these people to stone, remains to be seen. But we need to go forward and find... I think that looks like the Professor. Right by a door. I think we found who you're looking for, Han. Oh, Professor Holt. I don't think he can hear you. What on earth? An ancient curse? I can't believe someone is able to cast such a spell in this day and age. Isn't there any way to restore them? I've heard that a medicine called Alchline is able to turn stone back to flesh. Where do we find it? I heard about it some time ago in a Matavian village, but we're talking some time ago. Which Matavian village? It's the village of Molcom, which is far south of here. All right then, let's get going. Let's see, if you're going to Molcom, I'll make you a deal, just 500 meseta. Oh, Alice, always thinking about your bottom line. You devil. I think he paid, however. Let us check our inventory. Oh yes, he did pay. And so off we go, all the way to the south. I'm sure those two kids will be absolutely fine as we leave this place and head over to Molcom. Hopefully those kids will be okay. It's pretty safe to say, though, that uh, something has gone very wrong here and that Zeo is likely involved. Let us head to the south and hopefully we can find Molcom. We can also find all these monster flies and a crawler. The monster flies really aren't a problem. The crawler might be, though. Let us have at thee and see if we can take these enemies down. That is one point of spitting damage, again with the spitting damage. Everything here spits at us. It's all quite horrifying. Let us just uh, attack and finish this off. There we go. And these enemies are pretty much dead. Marvelous. Let's keep going. Hopefully this is the right way to go. I hope so. Either that or we're just going into a large area with nothing in it. Loads of mountains and some more crawlers. These enemies aren't that dangerous, so uh, we can quite safely explore. And if we lose too much health, we could always go back to a uh, town, not Zima, there's no inn there that works, and rest up. One point of damage and one point of damage. That's much better. Seeing only one point of damage dealt to Han is a massive improvement. There we go, some damage there. And excellent, combat is over. And we got a lot of money for our troubles. This may be where we're looking for. Oh dear. Yes, oh dear indeed, this is Molcom. And it seems that Molcom is in bother. It's a well. This one at least isn't dry. There's not much left of Molcom, if anything. There indeed is nothing here. This is terrible. If there was something, it's gone. Apart from you! You're here! Who are you? Rune? Hey, Alice. Long time no see. Alice, you know this guy? From a long time ago. Is Shorty here your current companion? He's still a kid. Watch what you say. Stop it, you two. More importantly, Rune, what's going on? Please give me a plot dump. This is all the handiwork of Zeo, confirming exactly what you may have been thinking. I could see that look on your face, Alice. It is Zeo. Zeo! I bet the person who turned the people of Zima into stone is also... Well, your brain seems to work a little bit. You... Cut it out. It seems that everywhere we go, it's always Zeo. Who is this Zeo? I'm not sure. With the town destroyed, how are we going to find Alschlein? You're looking for Alschlein? In that case, you'd better go to Tano. Tano? Let's see, from here it's kind of far. First travel east to the village of Krupp. 
And from there, if you go north, you'll find a valley that leads to Tano. We don't have to pass by Krupp, do we? Why? Uh, let's just head straight towards Tano. Alice? I haven't decided yet. I'm going to invite myself to join your group. I've got some business there, too. <gasps> Not so fast. We'd enjoy your company. It seems that Alice is very happy at this news. Alice? Good. We're all set. And Shorty, try not to get in the way. Stop calling me Shorty! My name is... Chaz. That's what you said your name was, right? Hmm. What a stupid name. Alice, I think he's going to be more trouble than he's worth. Ah! I won't get in anyone's way. You already have. Uh, I'm a little uneasy about our destination. We now have a fourth person in our party! What a perfect opportunity to use the talk command I should have done so earlier when we were on our way to, uh, this place. Malcolm has been done in by Zeo. By the time I arrived, it was too late. Sorry. Hmm. But once we get to Tano, we'll be able to obtain Auschlein, right? Tano. Now that's north of the village of Krupp, right? We want to go to Krupp. There is literally nothing here but devastation, ruin, and death. Also, Rune is level 17?! Okay, Rune, you're well equipped for what's going on here. You have a circlet, a wooden cane, which is two-handed, and a white mantle. Now, why does that seem familiar? Because I've watched Fantasy Star 1. Now, I'm sure it's nothing to that at all. He's just a guy with blue hair, wearing robes, and he's using a cane. Are you a spellcaster? I'm going to guess you're a spellcaster. We want to head east to Krupp. And we also have found, ooh, some sand newts. They look kind of deadly. Let us fight the sand newts, shall we? What do you have? You have an attack, you also have all of these abilities, and you also have, ooh, that looks pretty good. Let's use that on you. Magic! Really powerful magic! Oh my, you actually have magic! And at least that enemy doesn't spit, albeit that enemy does, uh, use its tongue. Also, nice crit there, Han! Well done! We definitely want to use some healing on you, though, at some point. Let us see how effective your melee attack is, Rune! Moderately. Boomerang away! And I think these enemies are pretty much done for. We got a lot of money for that! We also probably want to do a little bit of healing. Let's, uh, get Han here with, uh, restoration. There we go. You're good as new! Marvelous. We need to head east to Krupp, and then north. I believe this is probably Krupp. Also, here is a crawler and a sand newt, and I believe we got the drop on these enemies. Which is good, because now we can just clobber them into oblivion! With a staff! And also with a boomerang. Also, what is it with our party having people that are vastly higher level than uh, Chaz and Han? Rune is even higher level than Alice! Ten levels higher! She's also not gained a level yet. Maybe she just needs a lot of experience. Let us go here. I believe here is Krupp. Yes, this is Krupp. Let's see why Han didn't want to come here. This is the village of Krupp. Han! It's Han! You've come home? Oh, this is where Han lives! Well, I'm sure we're going to be spending a long time here. But also, look! Animals on the water! This place doesn't have a uh, problem with water, that's for sure. Let us rest here at the inn. Welcome! This is the inn! 60 Masetta. Why is it getting more expensive? Well, this place is dangerous, you know, got to pay my bills. Let us rest. 60 is absolutely nothing. And let us move on. Maybe there's a weapon shop here that we can partake of. Let's talk to everyone. It's good to see you home, Han. Saya will be overjoyed to see you. Go see her! Who's Saya? Oh, uh, well... We're going to find out for sure. Let us go and say hello to everyone. Like you! The other day, there was a tremendous amount of smoke coming from the west. I wonder if there was a big fire somewhere. Oh, there was a big fire. It's full of cooking books. Let us cook up a meal! We're not going to be cooking up any meals. We are, however, going to be cooking up trouble for Zeo! Or maybe we won't. Also, we can buy equipment here. 
this village's most successful citizen is Han, the armorer's only son. He's a professor at Batavia Academy. Don't tell him I'm here. Oh, you mean this person? Oh! Hello, Han! We're really proud of you, you know. What? Well, if it isn't Han! Hello! It seems like you're a local celebrity here. Let us go into here and say hello to you. Han! Considering that you're disinterested, you sure have some gall to step into this house. You don't help in the family business, you just study. What use is that? Pa, right now the whole planet is in serious danger. I want to help with the power of science. That's why I'm studying. The power of science beats the power of blacksmithing? Well, when it comes to saving the planet, yes, Pa. Don't talk to me ever again about the power of science. Han, it's good to see you home. Your pa goes on like that, but really he's very proud of you. I know, Ma, but my feelings won't change. The power of science! Is he always like this, Alice? Oh yes, Rune, he's always like this. Hmm, appears to be a book about raw materials for armor. We're probably going to, uh, want to go and get some equipment. Han's pa talks like that, but it's thanks to Han sending us the scientific literature that he's completed that a rural place like this is able to sell such splendid weapons. Is that an ominous piece of foreshadowing of the fact that your equipment is really good? I highly hope so, because we're going to partake of your wares. But first, we're going to check our post. Mailboxes. Nothing for us here. Hello. I'm back. You'll never be rid of me. Hello again. Oh wow, this equipment is pretty good. We have a carbon shield, carbon suits, circlets, carbon crowns, and carbon helmets. Chaz is the only one that can use a carbon helmet. Probably a good idea to uh, get one of those. Carbon crown for you, carbon circlet? Uh, oh, that's not a carbon circlet, it's just a normal circlet. Carbon suits, we can get two of those, but we then won't have enough money for everything else, that's for sure. Let's get some carbon shields right now. We'll get two of these, so that we can have one for Han and one for um, Alice. Or one for... Uh... Actually, no. We only need one. We only need one, because right now I believe uh, Chaz and Rune are using two-handed weapons. We do need two of these, though. We definitely need two of these. So let's buy two of these. I'm not buying any equipment for Rune right now, because I get the feeling he might not hang around for very long. Being level 17, he seems a little bit too high level for us. We're going to equip the uh, this here. Wow, that is a huge upgrade. A huge upgrade. And we'll also... You'll, you already have one, so we'll give Han one of these. There we go. Much better. And then we can start selling some of our equipment that's just sort of errantly lying around. We really need to. So we'll just, uh, can we actually, oh wait, we have to press right to get to the rest of it. We'll sell the shield, that's not bad. We'll also sell the, uh, this here. Excellent. We're not going to sell that shield that we just bought, that would be a little bit silly. 80 Masetta there. And some more Masetta. We need a lot more Masetta. Let's equip that shield, actually, and then see how much spare change we have lying around. We need to equip the shield, I believe, on Alice? Yes, indeed. Much better. Then we'll sell this. If only we could just sell the item that we were uh, using right back to the person. Like in Golden Sun. That's a nice mechanic. We have 527 Masetta. Let's have a look and see what uh, everyone else is using, because we don't want to buy uh, equipment that we don't need. Alice is using a leather crown, Chaz is using a leather helm, you're using a leather band, and you're using a circlet. I imagine a circlet is actually better than a leather band. So if we buy a helm, a crown, and a circlet, I believe we have just enough money. Just enough money! Buy one of these. We'll also buy one of these. A woman's helmet made of a carbon-based fiber. Fair enough. And then we'll buy a helmet. And knowing my luck, having bought all of this, we'll find some of it in a nearby dungeon, I'm sure. But it's always worth upgrading your equipment wherever you go. We'll 
just equip all of this stuff. Also, this music is very happy and jolly. That is an upgrade, right? It certainly is an upgrade. A minor upgrade, but still an upgrade. We definitely want upgrades, and that is a very minor upgrade. But I'll take it. One point of defense is one point of defense. Let us sell all that we have here, literally for pocket change. We're going to be very poor. It's a good thing we were paid that 500 meseta by, uh, Han. We could effectively use some of that as, uh, the money that we use to, uh, get his equipment. We're much better, uh, able to deal with everything now. We're that much better protected, which is always good. Let's talk to everyone, including you! Well, Tuno is north of here, but the road to Tuno is like a maze. Moreover, the entrance to Tuno is blocked by a large rock. That's what I heard recently. Maybe that's Zeo's doing. Also, look at this little thing! This thing's adorable! Wow, wow! Gee, what a fat little mutt. Hello, you. What a pig this dog is! It never stops eating! Maybe you should stop feeding it. Oh, that might work. Uh, let's just go. Anything in here? Wow, this is a big store! Hello, you! It can't be helped, don't you think? After all, being a child of that mother... I think you're probably talking about Han. Oh yes, if only our son was as bright as Han. I'm right here, you know, and I'm also right here, mother! Anything in the mailbox? Maybe this one has something for us. No, nothing at all. What do you sell? Anything good? You sell a telepipe and an escape pipe. That, uh, I think will let us escape, and that will also let us escape. One from a dungeon, and one from a, uh, a combat. Hmm. I think we're okay for now, though. I'm going to regret not buying one of them, I'm sure. Let's keep looking around. There's surely somebody who'd like to say hello to Han. I'm confident our child will be safe with Saya. Why do you say that? Oh, no particular reason. Hello, old person. See that little island in the big lake near here? The building on that island has been called a Soldier's Temple since long ago. Once I swam over there, but there were monsters all over the island. It was frightening, and I came rushing home. The end. That was the worst story I've ever heard. Well, if you don't like it, leave. Oh, turns out she's leaving. Let us go into here. Saya! And off he runs. Han, you've come home! I'm so happy! Saya, I've missed you. Let me introduce you to everyone. This is my, um, fiancé, Saya. Oh, hello! Fiancé! It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Saya. I ting when I say it's a pleasure to meet you. Saya teaches children here in her home. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh no, it's about the only thing I'm capable of doing. Alice and Chaz are hunters. They're assisting me in my task. It's a difficult job, isn't it? Thank you for taking care of Han. Now, don't you worry. Everything will be okay. But if anything were to happen to you, I... Saya. Han. Oh, you too. And off we go. Let's talk to all the children. When I grow up, I'm going to ask my teacher Saya to marry me. I made a promise to her. It's true. Hate to break it to you, Han might have beaten you to that. I I want to use the bathroom, but I'll have to hold it till class is over. I don't want to miss a thing Saya is teaching. What are these books? It's a children's picture book. Spoiled Rabbit of the Prairies. Let's keep, uh... By the way, you can go, I'm pretty sure. These two are just walking around ignoring the class. I want to grow up to be like my teacher, Saya, but I wouldn't like a guy like Han. He's got to be more reliable. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, hello, Han! Are you going to take back what you said? Nope, meant every word of it. Oh, children. I think the recent environmental disaster was deliberately caused by someone. What a smart Alec kid. He's probably right, you know. He's probably right, called a hunch. My teacher Sayer is kind and beautiful. I love her. Let us go and uh, head back here. Let's look at the mirror. That is not the mirror, Alice. This is the mirror. What a gigantic mirror. It is very large. This one here looks like a difficult book. Hmm, 
Matavia, the present and future. And there is a table. Let us talk to Sayer again, shall we? Thank you again for taking care of Han. No problem. Let's write something on the blackboard. Wow, it's an authentic blackboard! There, a collector's item, clearly! Is there anything else for us to do here? Probably not. But we'll have a look just in case. Well, there's you to talk to. That lake there? It was created by a meteor that struck the planet. The crater filled with water long ago. Unbelievable, huh? That meteorite might have caused all of the technological decline on this planet thousands of years ago. Oh, oh, isn't that unbelievable? No, it really isn't. Really isn't unbelievable at all. I think we've pretty much done everything we can here. Did I go into this building? Let's have a double check. I think I may have. Also, let's have a look at these flowers. Nice flowers. Nice attention to detail there, game. Didn't think we'd be able to look at the flowers. But we could. And so, when we come back, folks, our party is armed and ready for combat. And we have another person. We have somebody that is vastly over-leveled compared to us. I mean, look at those uh, technical points. 136 as opposed to uh, Chaz's 19. It's safe to say that Chaz is, uh, is not magically minded, so to speak. Or in the case of uh, what uh, Alice said, technically minded. Because I don't think uh, magic really is that prevalent in this setting. But I have a hunch that Rune may be able to cast some. Just saying, you know, blue hair, robes, staff, the ability to actually conjure up fire. Definitely some kind of spellcaster. Just a hunch that, though. And so, when we come back, folks, we will go north and hopefully find a place where we can get the uh, medicine that we can use to cure the people of Zima and Professor Holt. And so... I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.